our weekly report. We're finishing up life together today. We're also going to check in with some different people who have been there along your freshman journey, some D-group leaders and some people around Wesley about finals week and some finals week tips. What are you doing to celebrate being finished with finals? Still being alone, but I'm hoping to get a job. Music is a really nice time. It's a fun thing to dance to. I get to cut my dad's hair. <laughs> How are you doing that? <laughs> Just with scissors. Now is the best time to go outside. Curly Burrell. Burrell, like Purell, like Hanson. Okay, it's not. How many finals do you have? Have you taken any? Dude, you're halfway there. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't have to do school anymore. Where else do we turn uh, in times of informational crises other than Wikipedia? So here, everyone's going to be responding to some WikiPow pictures. We'll be looking at different pictures and they won't really know exactly how they connect. So they're just going to be giving you tips off of what they have and what they see. I can do anything. I'm a free woman when I'm done with finals, so. I woke up, put on a polo shirt, some sweatpants, went downstairs and took my final. Sometimes you can say words or just leave your mouth open while they're talking. I've never tried that, but this really has given me a new idea. Collaborate with friends for studying. <laughs> All a stranger, I don't know. You no, know, she's very stressed about October the 17th. Um, maybe she has a final or a test. You ever put exclamation points on your calendar? I don't. What's up? Like, can't touch me. I have a number. I have a shield against all the weather, all the haters, all the professors. Just like, she's ready to go. Yeah, um, she's just trying to figure out whether it's actually raining outside or not. Um, but she wants to be protected. Really, like, that's a really yeah. inquisitive eyebrow. She's trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Well. Don't tire yourself out with, um, like, overstudying. Just kind of do what you can and do your best. Feeling a don't wiki how how to survive freshman. Like fake it till you make it. Like he's thinking real hard like this. Like if you just act like you know what you're doing, like you might. Like I wear my glasses to my exams a lot because I feel like I look smarter. Like look how look how thoughtful he is. I just saw a question on an exam and I've never heard it spoken in class. <laughs> this is. I just got out of FOI and it's raining. It's pouring. Like you're like, ah, oh, here's the answer. Like I just knew if I just took it out of my brain, then it will be there and then I can put it right on my paper for my exam. Relax. A bubble bath is always a great idea. Make sure that you relax and take time for yourself and um, de-stress between exams and it's not the same as last semester, and it's only your first year of college, and so give yourself a little bit of grace. Um, take time to breathe, make yourself some tea, sit down, watch a movie that you really like, and relax. Because congratulations, you're almost done with your freshman year, which is so exciting. As we're closing out life together, the last chapter is called Confession and Communion. He talks about confession, that we should confess to each other our kind of real things going on in our lives, our struggles, our shortcomings, uh, the things that we fail, not just in a conceptual kind of way, but in concrete sort of things of telling each other um, real things that happened um, or didn't happen. And like in that first week of community, when we share things with one another and there's forgiveness from others, they communicate that not because they have that power to forgive us from things that we've done, but because they re-communicate that from God to us and that they remind us that we are forgiven. So that's as we close life together that there, this community is possible and that there is a role for us to play and that it is very important for others and for ourselves as we do that both the day alone, the day together, as we continue in ministry and then as we continue in community through confession that we can keep adding in to our routines with each other uh, keep adding in to our time together our sponsor for today's video uh, is our sponsor for today's video uh, is leftovers oh they're better than regular meals you're hungry and or uh short on cash and need some food I don't know, like soup? And chances are there will be some food left over. No, they get the job done. Love leftovers in college.
So I know you're gonna do great. Uh, I really believe in all of that work that you've put in all throughout the semester and all of these different changes have really shaken things up, but you guys are very resilient and strong to keep going um, throughout all the finals. We're here for you, all of the Fresh Com leaders, that we love you very much and that we loved having you guys at Fresh Com each week and getting to do different events and seeing you on campus and all the different lunches and <laughs> goofy things that we did. We're sharing all these milestones with you and there for the whole journey, the whole year of your freshman year. And we'll keep on being there. A lot of us will be there in the fall and some are moving on, but they'll still be uh, there in spirit. We're almost done. Hang in there and you're gonna get through it. It's been a good year. I'm glad I got to know um, a lot of you. I have enjoyed getting to know y'all 